thank you for your kind words. There are days here at work that I, I deal with so many issues, one issue after another one, and I, I wonder at the, towards the end of the day, what have I done with my, with my day? These are all issues that I hadn't thought about when I came to work this morning, and yet I spent my entire day dealing with them. It's a little bit of a downer. Then what, I, what do I do? I have to recharge myself. I go and visit the Velocity Garage. Or I go and stop some students, look at their projects. Just go and just there having lunch, sit down with them and say, well, what's going on? And I can assure you that I am fully recharged and inspired after I leave the Velocity Garage or after I finish talking to them. This is exactly the reason why we are all here. So I want to thank you for your participation. Your participation yesterday and today that this, uh, for this event, it really enlightened our students. So you will be asking me, if you have such a fabulous body of students here who are doing the things that you're talking about already, why are we doing this summit? Why are we here? This is only the beginning. We want to deepen it. We, wanna, we want to speed it up. We want to scale it up. And there are very good reasons why we want to do this. Jim was right. Uh, many of us are here because we wanted to be here. I am here at this university. I'm very proud to be here because I envied. Where is Prasar? Oh, somebody said envy. Where does that work? I envied this university. Everywhere I worked, I said, what a fabulous place. And I ended up working here. Many of us, we had other choices. We wanted to be here. We are here. It's not by accident. We are here because we wanted to be at the University of Waterloo in the city of Waterloo. The reasons are clear. Last week, the Korean tele uh, television, for many hours, aired the University of Waterloo's co-op program. The Korean Congress, they showed the video and presented what it meant to, to, to offer a really innovative program. It was the University of Waterloo's co-op program. I'm going to China next week. I'm going to spend a week in China, and I'm not going to sign a single student exchange agreement. What we're doing, we're talking about commercialization. We're talking about strategic partnerships in areas that we will together, globally, we will make a big difference. That's the reason why we are here. We want to make sure that the two things that we do here, this is our business. Our business is talent, as many talent as the world needs to grow these talents here, to educate them here, and new, disruptive, innovative, transformative knowledge. And you, when you put the two together, you create this fabulous mixture. But it's happening here because I mentioned the co-op program once, and it's part of the DNA. Again, we talk about it. We tell you, you create that's not the knowledge, it is yours. We have the world's most innovative intellectual property policy here. So you put those together, that's the reason why this university is very special. It's been very special right from its inception. And in a way, it is our responsibility to ensure that we are going to deepen, intensify, scale it up, and speed up everything we do here in the form of innovation and entrepreneurship. It is very exciting. It's a very exciting time for us to be here. But I also, as a citizen of this country, as somebody who, who really um, uh, owe a lot to Canada in terms of what it means to the whole world, it is our responsibility to offer this opportunity to our students. So when I go to Velocity Garage, I talk to those students, and then I said, oh my gosh, what was I doing when I was their age? So, and when I thought about it, 
probably I had the same level of knowledge. I knew thermodynamics as much as they did. No problem there. But I couldn't go beyond that. When I start asking them question, one question after another one, I feel a lot of depth and breadth. And this is, again, an opportunity for our university to benefit from your experience, from your expertise, so that our students, our professors, myself, my colleagues will benefit from it. Depth is never an issue in terms of the quality and excellence of our programs, but when you add that fabulous exposure of our students to build their confidence so that when they get out, they know before even they get out, they are determined they can do it. Ladies and gentlemen, when I sometimes think about jumping out of an airplane in my youth days, my knees tremble. And I say, you stupid, how did you do that? You know, for many, many times. I did that because I was young. I was determined to be able to do it. And this is, when we're looking at the future, this is what we are excited about. Our students, the talent that are going through this university, they are going to make this tremendous difference here. I have the same problem as you do. It so shows zero, zero, zero. That means I have, uh, my time has expired. But before I, uh, I leave this platform, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. It's great to have your participation. And as, however, Jim mentioned, we are, we, this is only the beginning. This is, this is only our second Innovation Summit, and we want to continue this. I consider this summit as a great success. However, I will not consider exactly the same summit next year as a great success. This is the Innovation Summit. It has to innovate itself. To be able to do this, we need your input. What would you like to see next year? And who else would you like to see next year in addition to yourself? Okay, we need that input. We will very much appreciate getting that put so that what, what do you want to see and who else? Your, yourself is counted already, but who else do you want to see in addition to yours, yourself? With that, let me also embarrass, uh, this is, there's some reciprocity here, Jim. <laughs> Uh, a man who is, who is so passionate about what we do here, is so passionate up about innovation, entrepreneurship, creativity, imagination, and a man who is very passionate about this university. I could not have thought of a better person to do this summit than Jim DeWild. Jim, thank you so much. And Howard, also, thank you very much for being part of this. And thank you also very much for helping me with, with our innovation and entrepreneurship agenda. There are many other players here, as, as Jim mentioned, so I won't name them. But uh, you have my deepest gratitude. Thank you very much. And hope to see you again soon. All the best.